Hello and welcome. I'm Andreas Fertig. I work as a trainer and consultant primarily for C++. And I'm also the creator of C++ Insights. And this is also the tool I like to talk about in this series. In this episode, I will talk about implicit conversions and how C++ Insights can help you to make them visible. So here we have a really simple example. I have a function called some function which takes the double as an argument, does nothing with it, but we don't bother with that for now. And then in main, I call some function with the value four. And if I now transform this, we can see that there is four. And this is because I hide a couple of implicit casts because in some cases they can be all over the place and it hinders me to show people what I really like to show them because often it's not about implicit conversions. So now if I turn on all implicit conversions, we can see that this piece of code only works because the compiler injects something like a static cast to double for our value four. It does this in a lot of places. For example, if I have an unsigned int, call it i, initialize it with five. And if I do the transformation here, then we can see, oh yes, there is another implicit conversion because five donates to an signed integer. If I really do want an unsigned int, I do have to say so by putting the u behind it, behind the number, and now there is no implicit conversion. If I have a jar buffer with two elements, two and four, and I do the transformation, we can see that, oh well, they also get downcasted to a jar. So implicit conversions happen in a lot of places. Sometimes they are good, sometimes they are bad. There's a tendency that in some places we are not expecting an implicit conversion or conversion at all. And this is a pattern here which may or may not be desirable. I now have two structs A and B. B happens to have a conversion operator from B to A. It's silly, it doesn't anything, it just returns a newly created, absolutely fresh A object. It's just for demonstration purposes here. And I have this function dangerous func which takes a const reference to an A object. It also does nothing, so it doesn't any harm here, but it's about the principle. And what I can do now is I can now call the, the, this dangerous func with an B object, because the compiler finds a way to convert this B object in an A object, which is probably what we wanted because somebody wrote this conversion operator. So, and if you are looking here, then we can see, oh yes, there's an implicit conversion where after the B object has been created, the compiler calls operator A on it to get an A object and then static casts this thing into an A object. That way, this function can be called with an A object. We can, in more recent C++ version, prevent this from accidentally happening by making this conversion operator explicit. That way I do have to specifically say in my code that I in fact do want this conversion at this point. And now it works. That's it for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye.